Ola and Avila that the time of the Magan Pine no anyati background day toy or the name of the basit the background the my my at latamat ngay suna iti mangi balikas anyamat iti nat background ti that same time nagapuanan day toy accomplishment na akas may sa nga counselor ti Judal ti Bangyo go ahead sir thank you once again Vladimir kita yamamok ti bagik kayo bagik dito yawa watchers niyo ay uh, tangguyo kaya't uh, siya ni Edgar Avila na yan nakak mo dito ay uh, Trangubilo dito ay City of Baguio my uh, mother is uh, half Ibaloy, half uh, Pangasinan uh, dahil dito ay Rivera clan dito ay Asintu Babenget kaya't uh, iso ti mother ni mother ko, di tatang na Mendoza kaya Malawag kaya't uh, uh, your father ko is an immigrant from Mungkada Tarlac nagtrabaho yung uh, pine scatter, yung sinyan ni Dick, na napuuhuran mo at tatan. And uh, I started my schooling at Lukban Elementary School where my mother was a public school teacher. So, on uh, my academic background, uh, uh, I earned my Bachelor of uh, Commerce degree and uh, Bachelor of Laws yung uh, St. Louis University. And at age 24, I became a lawyer. Uh, I started into the private practice of law uh, in uh, 1985 and I started with the Kapatulo office. Ni Apo Nanding Kapato, the late judge uh, Nanding Kapato. The mentor tayo, uh, Amamu Yesuna, the uh, uh, wife is Dr. Julie Kapato, a prominent uh, civic leader in the Baguio. At age 29, I attended a youth convention in Tagaytay. And that is where I was elected as uh, a youth representative in the Congress. So, sa mababang kakulungan, dalawang beses nga tayo nag-serve. Uh, two terms, uh, 1992 to 1995, uh, and 95 to 98. Kaya si Tayo Apo, the proponent by the FBR Youth Center. Iso dahi ta, ti nakigimungan yun, nakikasar, and uh, other events graduation to Puping. So, they thought the everlasting legacy to you. Ito yung uh, city of Baguio. Um, after uh, my stint as congressman where in 1996, I was, the I was one of the ten outstanding congressmen. Ito yung all over the Philippines. Having introduced 94 bills and resolutions with four approved into law, I became the dean of the College of Law of St. Louis University. At age 39, I was the youngest dean of the College of Law of St. Louis University. And in 2016, we Mayor Mauricio Dumogan, one of the founders of Timpuyog, and he said, Umayka, kiti, agkonsyal ka dito yung Timpuyog, ta barbaring si Kanto, ti makita nga leader nga mangituloy na ito yung nairugik nga Timpuyog, ti Baguio. And I accepted, I ran as consular, and in that elections, 54,400 plus voters, or one out of two registered voters, 51% uh, uh, average in the baseball kuma, voted me into office. And nagbalinga uh, na chairman, the Committee on Lands, Urban Planning, Housing, the City Council. And Adamanant, uh, we made history when uh, we were chairman. Ta uh, more than, as of today, uh, Vladimir is 1,450 alienable and disposable public lands na nai-award tayo pag ito'y constituents tayo two and a half years na yung ito ako some were waiting for uh, 15 years, 20 years before they got the award pero sa atin, two and a half years <coughs> excuse me tapos, uh, aside from that uh, other 12 school buildings Yan ay donate tayo through our friends. Duwa, ay dyan Lepidio Quirino Elementary School. Duwa, ay dyan Upper Quezon Hill Elementary School. Duwa, ay dyan Gibraltar. Duwa, ay dyan Santo Tomas. Duwa, ay dyan Military Cut-Off. Na no expense to government DI. And this is our, again, legacy to our young children because they can use that as their classrooms. Then, of course, we were active in lawmaking. Ordinance, a silent night ordinance. Bawa lang magbidyoke after 10 o'clock ng gabi. 
para yung mga seniors maka uh, makatulog, makapagpahinga yung mga anak, apo pwede na silang mag-aral ng leksyon pero of course, it does not apply during holidays na uh, mayat mati at saya maging masaya tayo during holidays yung Patients Rights Act uh, bawal humingi ng deposito pag ikaw ay na-hospital bawal i-withhold ang medical records pag uh, uh, kailangan mo ng medical records kaso may utang ka uh, kung minsan ayaw ibigay o natayan kayo uh, at dati utang din na tayo sa hospital handa kayo ng ikan di medical records that's a requirement for the death certificate so bawal na po yan <coughs> dito sa uh, Baguio City sa lands kasi yan nga uh, Vladimir ang ating uh, ang ating uh, specialty as chairman of the committee on lands nagkainaktay ng ordinance number 98 yung moratorium on demolition ano itong moratorium on demolition if you are in possession actual physical possession of a public land basta na tax deck mo yan for 30 years or more uh, you cannot be demolished by our government but you have 10 years to perfect yung inyong titulo sa lupang yan uh, kasi yan yung solusyon natin sa public land application ta Pag nag-apply ka, tapos merong competitor, may rival ka na nag apply ang remedyo niya is pa-demolish ka, pursuant to the PD-1096, Building Without Permit. So, ang ginagawa natin dyan, eh, uh, i-hold natin yung demolition, you have 10 years to perfect your application. Siguro naman, by the time 10 years has lapsed, has lapsed, at then, the, uh, the, uh, the titulo na itadagayo, so, you will now be demolition free and that is a big help to our urban sector uh, dito sa Baguio then sa jeep, sa taxi, sa bus operators tayo po yung naghain ng uh, petition for uh, stopping yung modernization program kasi based on the modernization program lahat ng uh, vehicle operators natin, drivers bumili ng Euro 4 engine uh, uh, at ang deadline niyan ay March 18, 2019 So we went to the Supreme Court to stop it Kasi it is anti-poor uh, You have to pay uh, the government uh, 800 a day To be able to have a franchise And uh, it's costing 1.8 million Marigatan piman, tiyan, kakadwa tayo At ang minimum na 5 units na dapat nga alaan so, anti poor because uh, if unit mo, get, uh, by the 30,000 pesos. And you cannot use that in the streets anymore. Because, you can use it in the streets anymore. Because, you can use it in the streets anymore. You can use After the petition was filed, the issued the order to the DOT, you can spend the March 18, 2019 deadline and extend that to one year. Hopefully, by the time uh, na pass before one year stops, the Supreme Court will have already decided na unconstitutional by Tanga Department order. So, uh, uh, like I said, we are proactive and niya uh, ngay team aramidan tayo, no agmayor tayo. Ang sa atin naman, <clears throat> maganda yung sinasabi natin change, 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 pagbabago. Pero ang sa atin, continuity and sustainability. Kung ano yung magagandang programa ng administrasyon, ituloy natin. Taawan mo tidakos na ako. And uh, kung ano yung kailangan ma-reforma, reformahin natin. So, yan ang isang uh, uh, program natin, continuity and sustainability. Of course, there are others, good governance, reform. But uh, we have also other agendas. Like, uh, one, yung development fund should go down to the grassroots. We have so much savings in the city government coffers at uh, maganda pag private corporation uh, makikita mo yung bank book mo, magandang nakikita yung marami kang pera pag private, di ba? Uh, individual. However, in government, mas paganda na pag open mo ng bank book mo sa gobyerno, walang pera. Na hindi naman sa lugi, hindi naman negative, but you have to bring out all those money for the development of the barangays, for the development and the social benefits of our people. 
Kaya tayo gusto natin magkaroon ng Baguio City College. Ano ito? Uh, libreng kolehyo para sa ating mga kabataan. We are free up to high school, public high school. After that, ag biro kan tinanang tatangpayo ti scholarships, ag biro ti sponsor o nagwo-working student tayo. So kung kaya ng Manila yan, kaya ng Makati, pamantasa ng Manila, pamantasa ng Makati, eh bakit hindi natin kaya sa Baguio City? So libreng city college. Gusto rin natin magtatag ng uh, Baguio City Hospital. Again, uh, hospital ng Maynila, hospital ng uh, Makati. Uh, apay, gaya-gaya kang samad kung nalahana po. Tawa hamad ka dapat sa tulad, basta ag-benefit kita po. So, sa Benguet Gen, kaya naman nila, Benguet General Hospital. Meron tayong regional hospital sa Baguio, Baguio General Hospital and Medical Center. However, eh, eh, hindi naman siya exclusive for Baguio residents. So, hanggang sa kaduluduluan ng Pilipinas, may pasyente dyan. So, sana magkaroon din tayo ng exclusive Baguio City Hospital. Ngayon, uh, lands, medyo ubus na. Medyo konti na ang uh, lupa natin dito sa Baguio. So, ano ang solusyon natin? Medium rice tenements. Ano itong medium rice tenements? Ito yung mga ma ginagawang building sa Smile City Home, sa Quezon City, sa Cavite, sa Bistec Village at uh, 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 three or four story building, 29 square meters, payable through pag-ibig in 25 years, rent to own, ang amortization lang ay eh, around 3,000 to 6,000 a month. So ito yung solusyon natin sa housing problem dito sa Baguio. Maganda na, uh, maayos, and it can be a small community kung saan natin uh, magagawa ito. So again, <coughs> yun yung mga project natin. Gusto rin natin expand or look for a new public cemetery. Uh, medyo kulang na talaga yung space sa public cemetery natin. So we need another uh, area for a Baguio Cemetery Part 2. Uh, of course, uh, uh, kailangan din natin ng uh, other development programs in other areas education, women, etc. Which uh, we also do. So, ganyan lang po kasimple ang uh, sinasabi natin. Mahirap po mag-promise uh, dahil lang sa eleksyon ng hindi naman natin matutupad. We are promising what we can do. And we assure you that uh, if we take over government, lahat ng concerns nyo will be acted upon within 24 hours after you bring it to our attention. Yeah. So, uh, ayan, may mga issues lang uh, if you will permit me to answer uh, are, Am I disqualified to run for office? Uh, so, nag-file po tayo ng COC Ang COMELEC ang nag-verify Ang COMELEC ang nagbigay ng form Kasama ko yung buong team po yung team Na nag-file ng COC Eh, wala namang nakitang defect Yung ating COC In fact Yung item number 22 na sinasabing kulang, nasa page 2 ng aking filed COC. Hindi lang nila nakita siguro or uh, hindi, nila, uh, hindi nila nakahanap. And dinala yung COC ko sa Manila. It was approved. It was verified. Binigyan ako ng number, number 2, sa balota. And after 7 months, sabi nila, Teka, hindi ko pwedeng tumakbo kasi defective old uh, ang form. So buti na lang may Corte Suprema. And within 24 hours after nag-file kami ng petition questioning yung ating uh, COMELEC for doing that minute resolution, eh, binigyan naman tayo ng uh, status quo ante ng Supreme Court. At uh, meron pa rin nagsasabi, may hirit pa rin, na hindi pa daw tapos yun. Uh, hindi po totoo yan. <coughs> yung Supreme Court gave COMELEC five days from receipt of the status quo ante dated April 5, 2019. Naglapse na po yung April 5, 2019. Hindi sumagot ang COMELEC. So for all legal intents and purposes, wala na pong pupuntahan yung kaso na yan. Wala namang petitioner doon sa kaso. It was a minute resolution by the COMELEC. So it stops there. I am qualified to run. I get my votes can be counted and uh, uh, ayun, wala pong katotohanan that I was disqualified by the Comelec. Yun.
Well said, napakinggan natin yung background ng ating uh, candidate from Team Puyog di Baguio as uh, mayor. Walang mutla ni Plataforma di Goberno na ito. Kani di pa nang ilaw-lawag na itinata may bagbang military solution from Comelec. This time with the time with the gun, the appeal na ka na kayo, kakailang mensahe na ka na kayo. Exactly nine days more to go. Judgment day. Since today is May 4, 2019. But before that, ay, kumusta na ito ay taga Chamber of Commerce and Industry. Kay Manang Marlene Baltazar de Castro. Adeline kay Yolanda Ligbawan, thank you. Martina Ojen, marami salamat. And this time we help the appeal of our candidate for mayor from Team Puyog, Team Baguio. Honorable Ed Avila sa inyo mga kaibigan. Thank you once again, Vladimir, also for the opportunity. You know, the city of Baguio is in the midst of an upheaval. A vigorous change coming from the old administration going towards a new administration. More and more of our resources are being brought to bear to make our city, one, self-reliant, two, economically stable, and three, uh, more reliant on its resources. And greatest resource ng city of Baguio, hindi yung mga cemento, hindi yung mga structure, ang greatest resource ng ating city of Baguio ay mga tao. So uh, that is where our power comes from. There is a Latin term which says salus populi es suprema lex. The will of the people uh, shall be the supreme law. So we appeal to you, our people. Sabi nga ng Corte Suprema eh, hindi dapat makialam ang komelek, ang mga judges, ang mga abogado sa pagpili ng magiging mayor dito sa city of Baguio. Let the people decide. Uh, who will lead the, uh, the, the city of Baguio in the next, in the next uh, three years. I have experience, I have qualification, and I'm ready to serve from the bottom of my heart. I'm a Baguio boy, I will not compromise my being a citizen of Baguio uh, to go into other uh, activities that will not make my father proud. So we are serving not because of fame, power, or money. We are serving because we want to really serve our constituents in the city of Baguio. And uh, if you vote for us, uh, again, we promise you no riches, nor fame, or even a place in the history of Baguio. All we can promise is a better place to live in, a place in the hearts and the minds of our people. So, ang, uh, sa mga kababayan natin, ako yung naging Boy Scout, ako Vladimir, uh, I live by the Scout of and Law. Every day, sabi ko, on my honor, I will do my best, I will do my duty to God and my country and my city, Baguio City. I will help other people at all times. I will also make myself physically strong, morally upright, mentally awake. And I will do this and serve from the bottom of my heart. You know, Vladimir, the real essence of service is uh, what an author said, if you are good to others, you are best to yourself. So yan lang po ang sinasabi natin. We appeal that on May 13, 2019, you put into office people who are competent, people who have integrity, people who have honesty. I fit the description. So huwag niyo pong kalimutan, tulungan na kami apo, di buong timpuyog team, uh, number three sa balota, si Mauricio Dumogan. Number two sa balota, si Vice Mayor Elmer Dutuin. And of course, Edgar Avila, number two sa balota for Mayor of the City of Baguio. Marami salamat, again, Honorable Ed Avila. Ang ating paramayor sa Team Puyog, Team Baguio. Yaman, iti matlang tayo ng kay ng ilaw-lawagan kaligiti plataforma ni Goberno. Kaya matlang, nagitoy ko natin ay mensayo para ka dito ay katainyan na siyudad ti Pag. Mang magagal yung matlang, ti programa na ito ay sa Jai Zero Radio. Usapang Ligal. Mabalit na tamat ka, mabisita kayo yung opisina na. O 
ask, of course, legal advice in others. They zoom at the Maisa, Kadidi expertise therefore. Thank you very much, sir. Let me acknowledge the good thing with Agui Puya. I get, hmm, I'm gonna need, uh,